Troy Johnson, founder of the African American Literature Book Club, AALBC.com, and we're here at Book Expo 2006, talking to Roy Glenn and one of his upcoming authors. Uh, Roy, uh, how are you? Thanks for coming by the group. My pleasure. And uh, tell us about uh, what you're doing. In fact, tell us about how you got into the business and how you've grown through. Well, it started um, with an idea. I decided to, to write a book. So I wrote my first book, Is It a Crime? And actually, I went through the submission process, letters here, letters here. And it got to the point where I would walk it in the house, and I would stand over my garbage can, and I would open up the letter and drop it in. After a while, I'm like, you know what? I can do this myself. So I went out and I bought every book I could find on self-publishing, and I self-published my first book. After that, I, self, I published The Paragons by Cliff Chandler, The Ten-Year Initiative for the Empowerment of Black America by T.M. Pryor, and my second book, Private Deceptions, which later became percolated in a different life. And then I went broke, as, as small underfinanced publishers usually do. And then I met Carl Weber. I happened to be at a Booking Matters event in Atlanta, and Carl was there. And I was doing my standard stump speech. You know, I, and I got Carl's attention, and he asked me to, to wait around after, and he published my, my book. He called The Disney Crime. It was the second book he started with the Jill Hunt, and then he published and Carl's been a fantastic early supporter of African American Merchant Club, and, uh, and, and he's given you a lot of latitude and a lot of. Uh, Responsibility. In fact, you're, you're launching a new imprint. Right? Yes. Right now, I'm the associate publisher of Urban Books, and in June, we'll start a new line called Urban Soul, and it'll be primarily women's fiction, women's issues fiction, women's relationship, family issues, and we like to do just good quality fiction. And one of our authors, Pat Tucker, is the author of The Hookup. Yes, uh, The Hookup is. Um I prefer to call it uh, an urban story, but with a flair. It's not uh, a street story per se. These two women who are trying to find a different way in the dating game, they start this unique dating service. And the service is just that they say to women, we can find any man you want. You can describe him from head to toe, whatever characteristics you want, there's just one catch. You have to wait until he finishes his uh, prison term. <laughs> and so it's just kind of, um, you know, the ups and downs that these women go through and trying to find that Mr. Right. And unfortunately, when you look at the uh, statistics behind bars, black and brown, we, you know, we, we represent the highest numbers of those incarcerated. And so, unfortunately, you know, that's where these women had to go in order to find that, that mate. It's an interesting story. I mean, you guys are actually publishing, you have a number of authors, and I'm staying at the bottom. Right now we have, we have 89 titles that we have in print or coming up in the coming year, and about 45 authors. We were talking about that last night. So how many authors do we have? And I looked at Carl, and he looked at me, and we were both like, I don't know, about 45. So. But our company now is comprised of Urban Books, which is our parent company, and Q Borough Books, which will premiere in September, and my company, Urban Soul, which will be in June. And we'll do, our first book will be Mile High Confessions and Secret Lovers, The Key Party, Patch the Hookup, um, My Invisible Husband by Sheila Goss, my um, book, Crime of Passion, because I work for myself. That's right. Crime of Passion will be the October book, and it feels like falling by Michelle McGuire. That's, that's, that's excellent. I, you know, you mentioned Sheila. Sheila was one of the first people on the comic. Oh, she really? Yeah, she was. So you guys are making a tremendous impact in the industry. Uh, We're trying to do some things. It's been a pleasure to see you develop and grow. And, uh, all the best. Thank you um, very much. And I look forward to seeing your book coming out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm very excited about it. It's no, you should be. You're a great publisher. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's my pleasure, man. Thank you.
you touch and go But don't you know You can't hide No, no, baby When you give it up It's only enough to get me by